come along with us over the next few weeks traveling these remote islands. Living on board the Haynes Hunter and Yalta Craft, fishing and diving, whack a bloody saddle on it, and cooking up what we can. Alright, good morning. First morning on the island. And have a look at that, baby. What a place to wake up. Rex is yelled to sitting pretty. Sun's coming up. We're bloody frothing. Bit of a rough sleep, but nonetheless, we're here. So we're gonna have a bit of a slow start this morning as uh, as the tide's low. It's um it's not even at its lowest at the moment. It's getting a lot lower and uh, we'll never get out. Big fat Haynes, she'll get stuck on that gap. So we're gonna kick back for a bit. We're gonna um, get the boat sorted, have a bit of brekkie, real slow start. And then we'll start punching out and making our way out. Probably start with fishing that shallow ground. So we get some trout, reds, whatever's gonna happen. And then uh, if we get the job done early, we'll mix it up and go do something else, either sail fishing, top water or, or whatever. But um, enjoy the sunrise, a bit of brekkie. Get this day going, baby. Alright, just burn a one jerry can, clear up the deck a bit, gives a bit more space. Still two up on either side. 20 to nine now, and uh, pulling up anchor and getting out of this bay. So hopefully have enough tide to be able to get out. And uh, if not, it's incoming, so we'll get stuck and be able to get out pretty quick. Uh, a bit of breeze as well at the moment, so we're gonna stay on the inside for a bit, see how that goes once that wind dies off shoot on the outside and head back to that range we were yesterday, sort of 30 metres and uh, see if we can get in some trout and see if there's any of these redfish hanging around. Day two, boys are just getting off the anchor, we're all fueled up, chucked another 100 in, only used 100 litres yesterday, did 135 k's, pretty good for another day, hopefully go out get a few reds, pretty elusive yesterday, bloody plagued one, Nanagai, saddle tail, not the worst problem to have. All right. Tide's pissing in, eh? Yeah, it's coming in, brother. Look at the gap now. Tide's absolutely hoofing in, so that's good for getting out. We know if we get stuck, we've, uh, we've got to back up. That tide's coming up, so we'll be able to uh, get off the bottom pretty quick and get out there. Motor's off. We're done. <laughs> ah, the big fat Haynes is stuck on the sand. I thought you were directing us, Joe. <laughs> yeah, hey, just went shallow on us, brother. That got, one little bit, man, has come up. We've got a channel quick. over there. Drop back off quick. We can't get into. If the Yalda craft doesn't make it, the Haynes never makes it. Tide's coming in. So, uh, whoa, we'll hang out, kick back. All right, we're not going nowhere. We've uh, dropped the anchor in. We're gonna hang out here for a bit. Joe's got the fish sandwiches going. Smoko time. Supposed to be on Smoko. Joe thought he had a little flick. Next minute. Next minute. Next minute. Zing, 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 zing. Bang, bang, bang. We're not bogged at the moment. We're going back. It's deep. Deeper, anyway. Place for my boat to get in and out of though. Takes a while. Alright, so we burned through 168 litres yesterday, which is pretty good considering it's basically a 100k drive here, so pretty much expected that. Uh, we'll burn quite a lot today. We're gonna go punch out a few marks and uh, do a few Ks. So we're burning through a bit then, and then uh, the days after that we'll have to really throttle it back. Probably do a bit of top water, stay on the inside, and uh, try and conserve fuel. But uh, today, got fuel to burn, so we're out punching and uh, burning some litres. So we're moving now, we're gonna try one little gap here, see if we can get out. It's too rough, I have to go further down to the next one, but uh, with a bit of luck we can get out here, save a heap of time, and get onto that uh, shallow water trout ground. 
Alright, uh, going through the channel now. Looks really good. So we'll save a heap of time. Getting the ground we want to get to without having to go all the way down the back of the island there. Absolutely lit up. First drift. Let's go. Righto. Righto, Joey. You're right at the back, aren't you? Yeah. Calling good fish or nah? Oh, average. It's got a bit of weight. Coral trout. <laughs> yeah, the boys! <laughs> That's yeah, the one I've been boy. chasing. That's the one I wanted. This is why we come to this spot. On the Vex 200 gram bottom, mate, with a fresh bit of fish for bait that he caught earlier himself. Why we're bogged. Why we're bogged. So they call this spot the bloody trout hole, and yesterday we couldn't catch a trout to save our life. We've got one small one, everything else under the sun. But this morning, Joe pulls through with the goods <laughs> and gets the big trout. <laughs> Weapon of choice, next 200 gram G drop. Oh. Yep. You want it? Grab it. I reckon we can hook it. You want it? Yeah. Alright, we've shifted it up into the 40s. It went a bit dead there, so I decided to move. Let's have a go. Getting a touch up. Absolutely getting railed over here. Absolute touch up. Oh. Not the target species one bit, big dirty amberjack, the juice low. See you later buddy. Cobia. Two Cobia. <laughs> Piss me of bottom fishing. Oh, I got myself into here. Time for lunch break. Got chicken cheese toasted sandwiches. Toasty maker. Run off the inverter. Let's get bit, baby. Lunch is served. Chicken cheese toasties. All day long. Oh, they're not too hot. And they're not too hot. Good. Mine would be really hot. Chip makers. Yeah, boys. Oh, we'll chin chin. I'm going to have a quick lunch. Punch out a bit wider. Let's see if we can find some feeding fish. We'll try and see if we can leave the sharks behind. Good luck. All right, we've punched out a bit further, 72 meters. Uh, don't like fishing deep, but sometimes you have to to find those fish feeding. Shallows went real quiet again, so. Bang, 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 oh bang, told you bang. Here we go, bang, bang, bang. Fish, bro. Is that trout? Yeah, He's got. Trout. I'm not calling anything out here. I'm That's not calling anything, but really does look That's like bigger. a trout. Hey! Hey, what's the matter, you? I play so not so bad. Thanks, 270 grammer. Little fish, big jig, but uh, perfect dinner size. 70 meters. Good idea to move. That was Joe's idea. I hate fishing deep, but. Be sure to head over to westcoastsalt.net to check out our latest products. Yeah, that is absolutely profit, eh? 
Alright, uh, that's drive, us driving over it. Uh, that was the first trip there. Nice little trout. Let's see what this one brings. Real one. Ah, oh, well, thought it was another trout. Unfortunately, I got mis misled. I can cut it. It's a tough gig out here, isn't it? Yeah, but you'd still cop it, Brett. Yeah. Idiots! What were they? I don't know. That, oh, the how the size of that shark. Big dog, man. Oh, no. Absolutely lit up. But an absolute shark pit. One more drop. Oh, I lose my voice. <laughs> One more drop, and then we're sending it in. And uh, we'll concentrate on some shallow ground. Deep water shark pits. That's a shark. No, that's a cobia, eh? That's cobia. Wow, that's a shark. <laughs> oh, I got a shark. Wow. No, I got shark. So we're punching in the 40s, looks absolutely lit on the sounder. That's gonna be the weapon of choice. Jimmy Kachu 220, 43 meters of water. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's a solid fish. Oh wow. Oh. Uh oh, this is back on. Big slob ranking on the Vex Jewing Kachu. I think it's about a 220 gram. It's been a pretty slow day for us. Got a few good fish here and there, but it's gone quite for quite a while. Came in at 43 meters. It's a little bit sharky, but slipped one through. Oh yeah. The assassin pitchmaster. Gave me the power. Vex jig, straight down the chomper. That'll be about me wrapping it up, I reckon. Couple more drops, send it back to camp. Clean some fish. Cook some fish, baby. You, you. We're wrapping up for the day. We just sort of jumped in sailfish, so we put probably about an hour in, pulling a few skirts. Uh, seeing if we can switch one up, but it didn't happen. Punching in the islands now, getting a little safe anchorage. We hit the beach first, clean a few fish, and then uh, set up anchor for the night and start cooking a feed. Big bust up out the front. Go. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know him. I know him. I know him, son. All right, we're cruising in the islands. Joe made me pull up on a bus up. Oh, look at them all on the boat, bro. It's a big fish. So many fish, I. Oh. take too long, Brentley. Oh, that's professional, isn't it? Hey, that is so professional. <laughs> that's professional, man. That is so We're professional. professional that's very, very professional. <laughs> Bit of a freeze ball so I don't break your rod yeah. tip because that'd be unprofessional. Ew! Alright, can we go to camp now or what? Yeah, bro. Right, we're in the bay, on the anchor, getting a few chores done, going to clean a few fish here, fill it up, get some dinner sorted, and head around the corner there, get a proper anchor in and cook some dinner and uh, get into the night. Ah, uh, what a day, what a day. 
Canavan Islands, mate. Yeah, that's where we got them. Often, man, you know, you're like, ah, shit. Absolute. Good <laughs> cold trout cheek, mate. Long tray, Spaniard. Good eye. All right, a little mackerel for dinner. All right, back sealing up slabs. We've got Rankin, we've got coral trout. All gonna be done and uh, in the freezer for the night. We actually put it in the in the Yeski first, put on ice overnight, that chills it right down. So we put it into the freezer in the morning, that uh, saves the battery power. camped here for two weeks, uh, well about a week, uh, quite a while ago, and uh, it's a bit of a mission to anchor, you've got to go right out, a few bombies around, gives you the shits, so around the corner, anchor up, and uh, get some dinner cooking. Yeah, boys, cutlets, boy, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Joe finally got his way, we're having cutlets for dinner, boys. Cutlets and a bit of rice. And this is what we. Uncle Benny's fried rice with a touch of Rex. The other craft special. All right, that's the end result. Spanish mackerel cutlets. Probably better than the Nana guy. I think everyone can <laughs> agree with that. Definitely. No one's going to argue that point. No, not at all. On one. Bit of nighttime squidding. Maybe yeah. an old rod I was kidding. That's a big dog. Justin, go to you, you <laughs> Justin. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, just that was so too. close, yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, he, he's lucky he didn't come here before dinner. He's up. He's up. He Good that. one, eh? Alright, that's a wrap. It's been one hell day. It's time to get some rest and do it all again tomorrow. So till tomorrow, uru.